Okay, another jump here. Yo! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Ark. So we are on Carno Island right now and we are about to get the artifact of the Bower. So those of you who don't know where Carno Island is, it is pretty much at the top part of the map on the right. And we got to head off in that direction where those RGs are at. So hopefully there's no raptors or anything terrible. <laughs> Too terrible. Uh, I pretty much just came here with the Baryonyx. This insanity is crazy. But we're going to bring her along the side here. This RG is probably going to want it. One shot, one kill. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to come around this side here. There's some scorpions. I'm only worried about raptors. I'm not worried about anything else really. I don't know what's going on with the sound, but we are alright. But if you find yourself enjoying the video, give it a like. And subscribe for more stuff like this. Okay, there's a bunch of crap going on right here. We're gonna head right into the cave. Here we go. Alright. Now we can put a bed right out in the outside there, but I'm gonna put the bed in the inside of the cave. It might mess with the spawn, but I don't really care. <laughs> so let's put this up. We put the gamma up. All right. So we'll put a bed right here. A cave. So we've got our block. Not obstructed. There. All right. Then put our bed down. Now let's name the bed. Let's see what we name bed rename the bed uh carno island cave i don't know why i capitalized it did i capitalize all the other ones i don't remember oh carno island cave okay so we have insanity following us and we have insanity on neutral because sometimes this cave's a little funky with what's going on there so you're gonna see this pool of water that's okay just gonna go right down into the water here. It's gonna be a little weird at first, but you're just gonna make your way through the tunnel here. You're gonna go head on up. And boom. Oh, look at all this stuff. Alright, so in this cave, there's a bunch of bats. There's scorpions. And you guys gonna come over here? Let's see what these guys over here. Come on over. So you pretty much want to just draw everything to you. There's nothing too bad. The only thing that's really bad in this cave is the Megalosaurus. So you want to make sure that you get rid of them before you go into any areas where they're at. Now, as far as... Ugh, see, there's one right there. Oh, no, that's a Megalania. But... As far as the artifact goes, the artifact is literally right below us. So if you really, really wanted to, you could jump to the bottom and then that would be that. But we're going to take the long way around just uh, to be safe here. Because you don't want to get overwhelmed by stuff as well. Why not go all there? Let's see. Come on. So you don't want things pushing you because that's happened in the past. So you want to make sure that you get rid of everything that's really, really bad at first. Maybe come over here, Bet, please. Maybe. Oh, I missed it. Super whiff. But we have the otter and everything. Uh, this artifact's probably not going to spawn back for us, just like every other artifact has been like that. Cool. Okay. It's really, really, like, weird for me right now because, like, usually there's not this many, like, creatures like, all spread out like that. They're kind of just, like, in little clumps. I mean, but... There we go. Take your buddies with you. Your two buddies. We're just gonna have to deal with that stuff when it's on the ground, <laughs> which is... It's okay. Uh, I just don't want to get pushed when we're trying to, uh... Oh, no. That was super intense. I just don't want to get pushed while we're on these ledges here. So I'm not too worried about it when we got some backing on us. 
All right. Is there anything else? It's another spider. Okay. But just like every other cave, just take it slow and you will get there. You can cross right here if you want to. I think we might actually do that. Just get rid of all these bats so they don't come up on me. Sneaking up on me. Usually there's a drop over there. But it doesn't seem like there's one right now. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's cross right here. Okay, let's get a good running start. There we go. Now, this wasn't my ideal mount for this cave, but I honestly got tired of looking for a Thylacoleo, which is what I wanted, but Baryonyx would work just as fine. Honestly, any mount. If you, if you had a Saber 2, Saber 2 works fine here. Pretty okay. Where's that Megalane at? It's like, did it go all the way down? Get away from me. It's up my butthole. But this cave, it just pretty much goes around in a big circle. So you just want to keep going down. But like I said earlier, if you really, really wanted to, you could grapple your way down and grapple your way right back up and it would be okay. But yeah, oh, there's this guy right here. Come down here. There we go. Get that toxin. Okay, so a lot of times there's a Megaloceras down in that area over there. But we just got to be careful. That was almost not careful. The Baryonyx is crazy, man. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> Just in case. But see the artifacts straight at the bottom there. What is that down there? Is there Megaloceras right down there? I think there is. Wait. Let's see here. Be difficult. Can't see. Alright. Well, we just gotta be careful when we're down there. We should be okay. I got a new armor piece. And uh, the Baryonyx has plenty of health, so... Should be okay, just in, in case we do get grabbled off. Grabbled. Is that a word? Grabbled? Grabbled? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep making our way down here. This is one of, like, probably the easiest caves. It's just about getting bombarded by stuff. That's all. Yeah, so there's usually a Megalo right here. But I think it's up by the cave. I think that's where it's at. I didn't see any drops though. Did you guys see any drops? I didn't, I didn't see nothing. Some, some bull drop game isn't going so good for us. But we're gonna take we're we're gonna get the drops when we go into the underwater caves. I'm more worried about it then. Like you can get good drops in this cave, but like nothing like super crazy. Right, let me see again. Are you? Oh, you're just a Megalana. Okay, Megalania. Hmm. All right. I guess there's no Megaloceros, and as soon as I say that, they'll be like, <laughs> Let's just take care of everything over here. All right. Okay, let's go this way. We're just going to take care of all this stuff, too, just in case. I don't want nothing messing with us. While we're trying to do things. Okay, what else is up here? It's a dung beetle. I don't see anything else. And Okay. All right. Now let's get this explorer note. Since we're here, yeah, Megaloceros or Saurus, Megalosaurus. Yeah, those guys are in this cave, but I don't think I don't think they spawn during the daytime. I think that's what it is. I think you uh, only encounter them at night or like evening hours. Being dinos. <laughs> Let's go. 
Now, if you have bigger dinosaurs, like a Thylo can't usually fit through here. Uh, I'm not sure if they changed it or not. But you can usually bring a Baryonyx in here. Okay. But here is the artifact. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm just making sure there's nothing else going to jump out at me. Okay, let's grab this. Where's my extra one? It's not here, like usual. Okay, let's see. You gotta get this toxin. That's important. So you gotta make sure you get that toxin for the trophies and stuff. All right, now we're just gonna head on up again. Well, pretty much that's it for this cave. <laughs> oh, here's another explorer's note here. Can do this one too. Right, the monkey. The monkey's fist. <laughs> monkey all right so we pretty much just go back up the way that we came there's gonna be a couple little weird jumps here i'm like mad there's no drops but be careful in this area here because it's a little narrow all right it's gonna be a little jump here so just try to line it up be careful. There we go. Keep going around. This little narrow walkway here. It's trying to push me. That's why you want to get rid of all the bad guys. Oh, there's a drop up here. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> Well, I wanted to go here anyway. All right, let's get this drop real quick. Okay, send it long night. Uh, send it long neck rifle. So we can go around this way and go fight those guys, and then go back around. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can just avoid these guys here. Let's head on up to the top again. All right, there we go. And then one more jump. Big jump. <laughs> well, it's not a big jump. But I'm glad that uh, drop spawned in here. That was, that was pretty good. Okay, another jump here. No! Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Where am I stuck at? Okay, wait, let's see. Hmm. Sometimes you get caught on the rocks kind of funky. Alright, so let's go here. Oh, boy, we gotta do it again. Okay. Going around. Yeah, it's just because the lip goes up a little higher. It's a little weird funky jump. Oh my gosh. See, this is another reason why I don't like <laughs> using the Baryonyx. I'd rather have a Saber or a Thylo. They jump a little bit better. But we'll get out. We will get out. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's try to get this jump again. Hopefully, be okay. Line this up here. What was that? What was that? Oh, he didn't even want to jump. Oh, man. Okay. It's going to be real stupid if we can't get out this cave. <laughs> Alright, so we left those bats alone over there. Artifact hasn't spawned back in. Had to transfer a bunch of stuff. But we made it over the thing. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So... You're pretty much going to go back into the water where you were at before. And just follow the little tunnel to where you got to go. That's it. Let's see. Go around. Please jump. Okay. See? And here's our bed. You hear that Carno stomping around outside. So as soon as we go outside, we're going to have to bolt. But 
Artifact of the Devourer. So I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, another artifact down. We got the Artifact of the Devourer. Where is it? Here. Boom, purple. It's cool. All right, so I think that's our last one on land, aside from the snow cave, which we're not ready for that yet. But the other two caves that we have to do, we have to do the two underwater caves. So I'm pretty sure Insanity is retired now at this point. <laughs> I mean, she, she was kind of struggling on those jumps. So that wasn't super cool. We don't want to go this way. Wait. <laughs> but I got a couple eggs and figured we hatch them up because that's what we've been doing every episode. I don't know if we'll get anything, but let's see. So we got... Outsource egg. And you are not what we want. <laughs> so Rex egg. And another Rex egg. And neither of you are what we want. So one last time for insanity. Let's go. All right. <laughs> but from the last episode, we did end up getting a couple mutations on the Rexes. So now we have this pink blue Rex now, which is pretty cool. And I think we got like one mutation on the Allosaurus. They ended up getting a color mutation on a spot that wasn't shown. So they look the same, but it's crazy. Cause like the Allosaurus were beating them and now the Rexes are beating them. So, but yeah, just super long process. We got seven mutations on this Rex. And then we got five mutations on this Allosaurus. So I think I want to get it a little past 10 before we switch over to the health. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this episode. Here's Insanity. We're going to retire. I don't know. Maybe I'll build her a nice pen or something like that. <laughs> if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like. And subscribe for more stuff like this. Alright. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Alright, thanks for hanging out with me. And take care.